hello friends welcome back to all in one law in this video we're going to talk about ob gyn topic obstetrics and gynecology and in this video today we're going to talk about a very important test for a fetal well being that's nst non stress test also known as nst so in this video i'm going to talk very briefly and important points for your usmle examination so this non stress test or any fetal testing is done if there is any what you call abnormalities you found in the fetus for example if you find decreased fetal movements okay if there is a decreased fetal movements then you advise the patient or pregnant mother to undergo this test or either if there is any what you call intrauterine growth retardation if you suspect intrauterine growth retardation then you can advise this test okay if the patient is diabetic post dates post dates and even in cases of chronic hypertension so in these cases we do what you call fetal testing and one of them is non stress test so in this video we're going to talk and we're going to know about what's a non stress test is so let's start a discussion on this so what's a nst what it does this nst it assesses the frequency of fetal movements fetal movements okay remember this is really very important the nst it assesses the frequency of the fetal movements and it uses and what you call the fetal heart rate monitor fhr okay a device to detect the presence or absence of accelerations right so there is a criteria there is a normal criteria for this nst means normal what is normal nst what is the reactive and the, what is non reactive test so remember this test assesses the frequency of fetal movements okay and there is a device known as a fetal heart rate monitoring device that detects the presence or absence of acceleration right so let's talk about this what's a normal so the normal nst non stress test it can be either two things one if the gestational age is less than 30 weeks okay or either it can be if the patient is having gestational age more than 30 weeks okay because the normal criteria of, of nst in these patient is different so remember in this what you call if what is the main criteria is remember these are the abrupt increase in the fetal heart rate above the baseline lasting less than 2 minutes abrupt increases in the fetal heart rate above the baseline lasting less than 2 minutes and are unrelated to contractions uterine contractions remember okay so now if the patient's age is gestational age is less than 30 weeks the criteria is the increase of heart rate fetal heart rate should be more than or equal to 10 beats per minute lasting lasting more than 10 seconds if the gestational age of the patient is more than 30 weeks then increase should be 
more than 15 beats per minute that's a heart rate fetal heart rate and lasting more than or equals to 15 seconds so remember this is the criteria right this is known as a normal NSD right so let's talk about reactive NSD and what's non-reactive NSD The reactive NSD, this requires the presence of two accelerations in 20 minutes of period. What's that two accelerations that we discussed? If the age of the patient is less than 30, should be heart rate should be more than 10 beats per minute, okay, lasting more than 10 seconds, or more than 15 beats per minute, lasting more than 15 seconds in a, more than 30 weeks of gestation, right? very good excellent so do you know why these what you call this NSD why there is acceleration occurs it's because of the sympathetic nervous system remember it's because of the sympathetic movement okay sympathetic nervous system and this is this sympathetic system is activated because of the fetal movements right and if there's accelerations are there then the fetus is doing well remember Okay, so reactive NSD is if it falls that criteria, follows that criteria, and um, and this presence of what you call two accelerations in the 20 minutes window. Okay, so then it is known as uh, reactive NSD. And what you have to do is, uh, if there is a NSD result is reactive, then it's a fetal well-being. Okay, highly predictive of. Uh, for fetal well-being remember and it's a reassuring okay and the what management you have to do is repeat the NST weekly okay repeat the what you call the uh, NST weekly remember okay guys and what's a non-reactive non-reactive NST the non-reactive NST is uh, if it does not follow that normal criteria of normal stress, uh, non-stress test, then it's known as uh, um, what you call a non-reactive um, NST. And the time period what we use over here is again the same. It's a bit, it's a twenty minutes. If you don't find any one of the criteria in a twenty minute of examination, then like in the form of there's no amplitude change in the amplitude or duration okay so of the acceleration then you can call it as non-reactive and remember most of the cases of a non-reactive NST um, it's due to the what you call the fetal sleeping or fetus is sleeping right so most of the times it's because the fetus is sleeping that's why you don't get you you, you don't get accelerations and that's known as non-reactive NST the fetal sleeping so what you should do you should use some what you call the stimulation that's known as a vibroacoustic stimulation okay vibroacoustic stimulation and that stimulation causes what it causes it it causes the fetus to wake up from the sleep and that you can see the acceleration okay um, if the NST is persistently non-reactive, then you have to do what the BPP, that's known as biophysical profile. Right, guys? So these are really very important things you should know, right? So what did I say? If, um, right, so there are two types of uh, NST, that's a reactive and the non-reactive. Right, guys? So kindly go through this uh, video again. And thank you so much for watching this video. And please do not forget to subscribe and please do not forget to share our videos with your friends. Thank you so much. Take care.